I have got absolutely no idea how I missed this one. This is actually a story from around three weeks ago. Two of Hertfordshire's finest, PCs Robert Goldstone and Charles Phipps, who have already resigned from the force, were barred from policing after being found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour at their misconduct hearing three weeks ago. The two filthy animals created a WhatsApp group which had one other member, PC Mark Williams. The group was called Danny's Got a Sore Vagina. Let's just leave the jokes for now, shall we? Within the group chat, Phipps, who is said to have trained as an LGBT liaison officer, shared an image of a man inserting his penis into a cow's mouth and using the terms including bitches, nonce, Jew and sheiks. While, among other things, Goldstone show, uh, shared slurs such as homo, faggot, bender and nigger. The third member of the group, PC Mark Williams, was also found to have used discriminatory slurs and is said to have written the phrase, I was out raping and the terms pedo twats and gay in an offensive context. The accelerated misconduct hearing got to hear all the juicy details of course, but we get the watered down version. Hertfordshire Police Chief Constable Charlie Hall found that all three officers' behaviour was damaging to public confidence in the force. A misconduct hearing report read in this case, the evidence shows that there are numerous messages sent by Mr. Goldstone on closed WhatsApp groups that are misogynistic and use homophobic slurs. I am satisfied that the evidence also shows that he received on one occasion a pornographic image depicting bestiality. On no occasion has he sought to challenge or report the content of this message. Instead, he has fully participated in it. I have considered Mr Goldstone's right to privacy given that these messages were shared in a private WhatsApp group. The contents, however, are so discriminatory and repetitive in nature that they do represent a breach of our standards of professional behaviour and do have potential to discredit the police service. Now, XPC Robert Goldstone is said to have accepted the facts of the case but that his behaviour amounted to misconduct rather than gross misconduct. In the case of XPC Phipps, Chief Constable Charlie Hall said. He sent messages or did not challenge messages that were discriminatory on grounds of race and sexuality, were misogynistic, contained racist terms, were insulting towards colleagues, used rape and sex offences as a topic of humour and used offensive language. Clearly never been to see Jimmy Carl then. He added, had these facts not been admitted by Mr Phipps, I would have comfortably found these to be proved on the balance of probabilities given the weight of the evidence presented. XPC Charles Phipps agreed that his behaviour amounted to gross misconduct. Both Goldstone and Phipps would have been dismissed had they not already resigned, but PC Mark Williams hadn't got the memo and was still serving at the time of his misconduct hearing. The report into Mr Williams read PC Williams has been entirely responsible for his own behaviour resulting in his misconduct. He has entered these messages into WhatsApp chats of his own free will. The use of discriminatory language within these messages has not been accidental. It has been intended and has been done repeatedly. He could have chosen not to so engage but he did not. Instead he acknowledged in his Regulation 54 response that he allowed himself to become embroiled in a toxic culture of distasteful jokery. The report reads, he accepted in interview that these comments about rape are inappropriate, indicating that these are related to an ongoing joke about his starry eyes. Whatever the fuck that means. He acknowledged how awful these sound, especially given the national concern about violence against women and girls following the murder of Sarah Everard by a serving police officer. PC Mark Williams, who is also now an ex-PC, was dismissed without notice after his behaviour was deemed to have amounted to gross misconduct. He too has been added to the police barred list.